Charging by separation is the other method of charging, in which case two metal spheres are mounted on an insulating stand as shown below. This is the insulating stand. And then we have our charged, our balls, which are to be charged ball A and ball B. So it is important also to note here that in charging by separation, we charge two balls simultaneously and they acquire opposite charges. Now, in step one, the spheres are brought into contact to form a single conductor and a negatively charged conductor brought closer. When this is done, positive charges are attracted to the rod, hence sphere A, while negative charges are repelled to sphere B. So we have positive charges being attracted to that side while negative charges repelled in sphere V, B. Step two, the sphere A and B are moved apart while holding the charge rod in place. So when this is done, charge distribution is as shown. So we will have positive charges still attracted by the rod while the negative charges goes in sphere B. In this case we hold the rod in place to prevent charges from redistributing. In um, sphere A, still holding the rod in place. In the final step, step three, we withdraw the rod and test for the charges on these spheres. When tested, Sphere A is found to be positively charged, while Sphere B is found to be negatively charged. So those are the three methods of charging. We have the contact method, separation method, and induction method.